Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Be calm. Oh no, I think I left my laptop on the train. I can't believe I did that. Be calm. It's going to be okay. We'll figure this out together. But what if someone finds it and steals all my data? I have so much important work on there. Take a deep breath. We'll start by contacting the train company and seeing if anyone turned it in. And if worst comes to worst, we can try to remotely wipe your data to protect your information. Okay, you're right. I need to stay calm and think logically. Thanks for helping me through this. No problem. We all make mistakes sometimes, but it's how we react to them that really matters. I just feel so stupid for leaving it behind. Don't beat yourself up about it. It's a common mistake and we'll do everything we can to try to get it back. Okay, I'll try to stay positive. Thanks for being there for me. Anytime. That's what friends are for. And remember, no matter what happens, we'll find a way to deal with it together. This is not a joke. Hey, guess what? I won the lottery. Seriously? This is not a joke, right? No, I'm dead serious. I can't believe it myself. I checked my ticket multiple times, and I've won a huge jackpot. Wow, that's incredible. I've never met anyone who has won the lottery before. This is not a joke, right? You're not pranking me. No, I promise you. This is not a joke. I'm still in shock myself. I can't believe my luck. That's amazing. What are you going to do with all that money? I haven't decided yet, but I'm definitely going to pay off my debts, buy a new house, and travel the world. This is not a joke. I'm really going to enjoy this. I'm so happy for you. This is not a joke, right? I mean, I can't believe it's real. Thank you. No, it's not a joke, I assure you. I feel like I'm living in a dream right now. What do we call this in English? Hey, Sarah. Look at this exotic fruit I found at the farmer's market. Do you know what it's called? Hi, Alex. Hum, I'm not sure. What do we call this in English? I have no idea either. It looks so unique though, with its spiky skin and vibrant colors. Yes, it's definitely intriguing. Maybe we can ask the vendor at the market. They might know. Good idea. Let's go back and see if we can find out what it's called. How are things going? <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Hey, Mark. Long time no see. How are things going? Hey, Lena. Yeah, it's been a while. Things have been pretty good overall. I've been keeping busy with work and some personal projects. That's great to hear. How's work been treating you? Work has been challenging, but in a good way. We've been working on some exciting projects, and I've been learning a lot. It's been keeping me on my toes, but I enjoy the challenges. 
That's awesome. It's always good to keep learning and growing in your career. How about your personal projects? Anything new? Yeah, I've been working on a side project that I'm really passionate about. It's been taking up a lot of my free time, but I'm making progress and it's been a lot of fun. I'm excited to see where it goes. That sounds amazing. I'm glad you're pursuing something you're passionate about. Anything else going on in your life? Not too much else going on at the moment. Just trying to maintain a healthy work-life balance and spending time with family and friends whenever I can. How about you? How are things going on your end? Things have been good for me too. Busy with work and personal commitments, but I'm managing. It's always nice to catch up with old friends like you. Let's make sure we don't wait too long before catching up again. Absolutely. It was great catching up with you too. Let's definitely make an effort to stay in touch more often. Take care, Lena. You too, Mark. Have a great day. I hope so. I'm really nervous about the exam tomorrow. I've been studying for hours, but I'm still not sure if I'm prepared enough. Don't worry, you've got this. You've been working so hard. I believe in you. I hope so. I really need to do well on this exam to pass the course. I understand. Just keep reviewing and stay positive. You can do it. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll do my best. No problem. You've got this. I have faith in you. I appreciate your confidence in me. I hope I can live up to it. You will. Just stay focused and believe in yourself. I'll try my best. I hope I can remember all the material. I have no doubt that you will. You've been putting in the effort. Just trust yourself. I'll do my best. Thanks for the pep talk. I hope it pays off. You're welcome. Just remember, you've got this. I hope you ace the exam. I hope so too. Thanks again for the support. It means a lot to me. Greeting by receptionist. I am here for my job interview. Fine, have a seat. May I get you some water or coffee? Sure, thank you. I'll get that for you right now. Thank you. What a nice office this is. Yes, could you come in now? I am going to take you back to meet your interviewer. Ordering fast food. Welcome. What would you like to order? I would like to get a double cheeseburger. Would you like everything on it? I would like everything on it. Thank you. Do you want any fries? Let me get some large curly fries. Can I get you anything to drink? Sure. How about a medium Pepsi? Is that everything? That'll be all. Thanks. You're welcome, and your total is $5.48. Thank you. Here you go. How to find a job. Could you help me figure out how to look for a job? We have lots of options. What type of job do you need? 
I want to work in an office. Do you want to work part time or full time? I want to work full time. We have binders with local job listings. Or you can make use of the computers. Okay. I am confused a bit, but I am sure that I can use it out. If you make an appointment with a job counselor, they can also provide you with a lot of information. Do you want to see a counselor? No, I don't think I need to do that. Well, you know that this job center is here for your use, so help yourself. Good luck. Job interview. Good morning. I am here for my interview. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Gotcha. Have any trouble finding the place? No problem. So why don't you tell me why you are interested in changing positions? Unfortunately, our company is shutting down due to the economy. What would you consider your strengths? I am probably best at researching for marketing purposes. What is your biggest weakness? I tend to get bored easily and so love to keep myself challenged. We have a position where that could work out well. Preparing for a job interview. Could you help me try and figure out how to get ready for my job interview? The most important thing to do is to make sure you know the company and what services or products it provides. Do you know all about them? Yes, I pretty much understand the company. Well, after you've done your research, you have to decide whether the company is casual or formal. Have you decided what they are yet? Yes, I've been observing them. When you are choosing what to wear, keep all of that in mind. Have you chosen what to wear? Already have something to wear. I would always be ready to go shopping with you. Should we talk about other basics? I'm ready to think of other things. You need to make sure you arrive on time, smile, be pleasant and friendly, look the person in the eye, and answer all questions to the best of your ability. You'll do great! Past simple tense, how was your day? Welcome home, Dad. Oh, Emily. How are you today? Fine. Good. And how was school today? Really fun. Good. And what did you do? We made things. Like what types of things did you make? We made books. You made books? Okay. And what else? We, we made paper rabbits. You made paper rabbit? Okay. And what did you need to make your paper rabbit? What kind of supplies did you need? We used crayons, papers, glue, and we had to follow directions. Well, good. And, uh, what did you do after school? We went home, played games. And did. Mom said you went to the junior high school. I rode my bike in the tennis court. Did you go by yourself? I went with the whole family, and we went with Nathan, Sarah, Rachel. You went with your cousins. And my mom. 
Well, that's great. Well, let's get ready for dinner. Okay. Little tips for bad service. Do you want some dessert? No thanks. We just need our check. Have you seen the waitress? Where is our waitress anyway? Yes, the service hasn't been the best. Is that our waitress over there? I'll walk over and get the bill, since I don't think the waitress is coming over here anytime soon. Good idea. Just bring it back and we'll figure it out together. So the bill is $36. How much do you think we should leave for a tip? My first inclination is to leave nothing for a tip. I agree, but we don't really know the whole story. There may have been problems in the kitchen beyond her control. Let's leave 10%, so that we at least leave something for the service. I agree. We will leave $3.60 for the tip. Talking positively about the restaurant. How do you feel about this restaurant? I really liked it. I really enjoyed the food. What did you enjoy the most? I enjoyed the fish the most. The fish was pretty special, but I loved the dessert. The macadamia cake was out of this world. I really felt that the service was exceptionally good. Yes, the service really added to the experience. I am looking forward to returning to this restaurant. Talking negatively about the restaurant. Did you enjoy the restaurant? I didn't really like it all that much. What do you think the problem was? Well, they are pretty new. I just didn't feel that they were ready to open yet. How did you feel about the food? The food wasn't all that exciting. I didn't think that the service was good either. Yes, the service certainly didn't add to the experience. Would you like to return to this restaurant? Maybe we could try it again in a few months when things have settled down. A mistake by the waitress. Here is your breakfast. Thanks so much. Miss, I believe I ordered my egg scrambled, and these are fried. Sorry, your friend over there ordered fried eggs, and I gave you his by mistake. Oh yeah. Here, I will just trade with him. Here are your pancakes, miss. But I ordered waffles. I am so sorry. That's okay. I will eat my eggs and bacon, and you can take my pancakes back. Good, sir. I will take care of that right away. Thank you so much. Making a positive comment on food. What a wonderful dinner. Thank you. I am glad that you are enjoying it. 
Where did you get your fantastic recipes? I grew up cooking. My mother shared her recipes with me. I especially like the wonderful chicken dish. That is a special coconut ginger chicken with rice dish. Is that shrimp in the soup? Yes, do you like it? I added a little extra lemongrass and some sea vegetables. I am happy that the wine I brought for you works well with this meal. Yes, thank you for bringing the wine. It really complements the meal. Making a negative comment on food. Does your chicken taste all right? The chicken tastes wonderful, but it is kind of dry. Is your fish okay? My fish has good seasoning but is a little dry. It seems as if they got busy and left it sitting before it got to us. Yes, maybe they are shorthanded in the kitchen tonight. Are your vegetables a little mushy? The vegetables seem to not be very fresh. Mine aren't so good either. I usually enjoy the meals here, so I think that we should tell the waiter that there is something wrong with this meal. I think that we should let someone know. They will probably want to fix the problem. Good tips for good service. Do you want some dessert? No thanks. We just need our check. Have you seen the waitress? Here comes our waitress with our check. The service here has been really great, don't you think? Yes, the service was quite good. So, let's look at the check. The total is $36. How much do you think we should leave for a tip? Usually people leave 15%, but this was exceptional service. I am thinking that maybe 20% would be appropriate. I agree that 20% would be just about right. Okay, so that will bring her tip to $7.20. Add it to the $36 and the total is $43.20. Yes, what a nice dinner that was. We'll have to make sure to come back here again real soon. Making a reservation. Shogun Restaurant. Hi, I would like to make a dinner reservation. Of course, what evening will you be joining us on? We will need the reservation for Tuesday night. What time would you like the reservation for? We would prefer 7 o'clock or 7.30. How many people will you need the reservation for? There will be four of us. Fine, I can seat you at 7 o'clock on Tuesday, if you would kindly give me your name. Thank you. My last name is Lily. See you at 7 o'clock this Tuesday, Ms. Lily. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Choosing a good restaurant. Anna, have you thought about where would you like to go to dinner on Friday for your birthday? I am not sure. I don't know that many restaurants around here. You know, we could look online at the local internet sites. Good. Let's take a look. What kind of food would you like for your birthday? I enjoy Thai or Japanese the best. This one, Shogun, looks good. Oh yes, I've heard of that one. Everyone I've spoken with says that it is great. Would you like to go there then? I think that that would be a really good choice. 
Let's call and make a reservation. Being seated at the restaurant. Good evening, madam, and welcome to Shea Attitude. We have a dinner reservation for four at seven o'clock under the name of Foster. Yes, Miss Lily, if you would please be seated over in the waiting area, our hostess will be with you in a moment. Thank you. Would it be okay if we have a cocktail while we are waiting? Of course, I will tell her. I would really prefer an outside table. Would that be possible? Sure. If you would like one of those tables, I could seat you right away. Sure, that would be great. Thank you. Here are your menus and the wine menu, and would you like to order your drinks now? Yes, I would like a vodka gimlet, please. Sure, no problem, sir. Thank you very much. Ordering food and drinks. Good evening, can I get you a drink? Sure, I would like a Coke. Would you like to order anything off the appetizer menu? Let's see, can I get some soup, please? Would you like to order anything else? No, that's it, thank you. No problem, call me when you're ready to place the rest of your order. I would like to order my food now. What did you want to order? Can I get a cheeseburger and some fries? Can I get you anything else? That's all, thank you. Ordering appetizers. My name is Mary, and I will be your waitress tonight. Thank you, Mary. We have been looking forward to trying out this restaurant. Before your main course, would you like to order an appetizer? Sure, that sounds great. Where are your appetizers listed? There is a special appetizer menu right here in the center of the table. The chicken and cheese quesadilla looks good. Is that pretty good? You know. That is one of my favorites. Okay, I'll take one order of that. You could choose another appetizer for half price to share. Perfect. Please add on an order of onion rings. Ordering main entree. Are you ready to order? I think that we have a pretty good idea of what we would like to order. Let me tell you about the specials of the day, which are chicken in a wine sauce with capers and grilled garlic shrimp. I was wondering if the chef could leave off the sauce. The chef would be happy to accommodate your special requests. I am a vegetarian. Do you have any vegetarian selections? You could choose the roasted vegetable and garlic pizza or the goat cheese and candied walnut salad. I think that we will split the roasted vegetable and garlic pizza. That is a good selection, and I can bring your salads now or serve them with your entree. You can bring us our salads when you bring us our entree. Ordering dessert. Did you enjoy your meal? Yes, we really enjoyed it. May I interest you in some dessert? Yes, that sounds great. We have chocolate mousse cake and a spicy rum apple crisp for our specials. The apple crisp sounds great. Since there are two of you, would you like to split a second dessert? Good suggestion. 
Could you please bring us a chocolate mousse cake and four dessert forks, please? Would you like coffee or tea with your dessert? Let's have two coffees, please. Okay. I will be right back with your desserts and drinks. Thank you. We have really enjoyed our meal here. Hello, lovely friends. Welcome back to English Easier with Eric. Today, we are going to have an amazing video about English grammar. We will learn all of the tenses in English under 30 minutes. Can you believe that? We will go through all 16 tenses. Okay, now, let's get started. Present perfect tense, have you booked your tickets? You plan to go to the USA again? August. Oh, so a few more months to go. Yeah, not long to go. Have you booked your tickets? Of course. We booked them early this year when they were offering discounts. How about accommodation? You remember what happened to your uncle when he went to visit your grandmother? Yes, yes. We've already sorted the accommodation. Really? I thought you said you were visiting the center parks and museums. Are you sure you've booked accommodation for both cities? Yes. We'll be staying with a friend in New York, and we've booked a hotel for a few nights in California. And the visa? Have you applied for it yet? What visa? Tourist visa to enter America. Haven't you been to America before? You know you have to apply for a tourist visa to enter the country, right? Okay, all right. I haven't been back for ages, okay? If I remember correctly, they take like, less than a week to process, so we'll apply closer to the date. Okay then. Would you like me to remind you then? Only if you want to. You really don't have to, you know? We're both adults. Yes, yes. Well, it doesn't hurt to be reminded, that's all. Have you started packing yet? No, of course, we haven't. Present Perfect Simple uses We use the present perfect simple to refer to events in the past, but which connect to the present. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play. And I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. And I'm up again I got tired eyes Need a cup of blend That's right In the AM That's my only friend No light Just the sun Coming up on the horizon I lose track of time Yeah, I move fast and climb A new class divine Yeah, true passion shines And I'm through passing time I choose stacking dimes You snooze half the time While I move passing by uh, I work hard Present continuous tense What are you doing? Hi, Frank, what are you doing? Oh, Lily, 
I am watering these flowers and trees in the garden. What are you doing here? I thought you had had extra classes this afternoon at school. Yeah, I am finding Mark. Is he here? No, he is playing games with his friends in his room. Oh, what time is it? It's 5.40 p.m. My bad. Now, he is going shopping with my mom at the shopping mall in the city center. Why do you need to find him? Is it important? You could leave him a message. I'll tell him. Well, we have a homework assignment that is teamwork. I just want to inform him of something to prepare before the final presentation. But that's okay, cause I could work with Yana. Do you know where she is? Yeah, she is now cooking in the kitchen. Thanks, Frank. I'll talk with her. Hi, Yana. What are you doing? I am preparing for the dinner. Would you like to have dinner with us? Thanks, Yana. But I said to my mom that I would be back home and have dinner with her. Ah, uh, there is something that I have to tell you about our final presentation and assignment. Okay, what are they? Present Continuous Tense The present continuous is used to show that an ongoing action is happening now, either at the moment of speech or now in a larger sense. The present continuous can also be used to show that an action is going to take place in the near future. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play. And I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson.